everyone my name is harish and uh, i am going to start a new tutorial series for uh, apg uh, google product um so this is just a introduction session where we will go through this uh, uh, what is apg and uh, what is it used for and how to get set up with apg console uh, so that you can have uh, a console like this uh, uh, for, as a trial so that uh, you can follow along uh, uh, in for our future tutorial videos so what basically apg is um, so if you go to google site it says like apg is a api management platform uh, which helps you to design secure analyze and scale apis anywhere uh, with visibility and control and since apg is uh, very highly integrated with google's uh, cloud platform uh, where you can use a lot of great products from google like uh, bigquery and stack driver uh, for logging purposes like bigquery is for your analytics uh, purposes you can use and there are um, a lot of google pl cloud products which can be used uh, which are integrated with your api platform so um, what apg does is uh, it sits between your uh, uh, users or the consumers of your app API and your backend system and your backend system could be on your on-premise system or it can be a cloud application or a cloud system which you are using like your uh, um, Salesforce or uh, any on-premise uh, services like your uh, uh, policy admin system which can be there so you can integrate all of these and uh, create a API layer in between uh, which can uh, seamlessly expose your uh, data or information to your uh, consumer in a controlled secure way so if you look at here uh, so there are a lot of functionalities which comes uh, out of the box with apg uh, like you can use it to design your apis using open api specification uh, with, with this you design your API and what it does is basically it will give you a developer portal where you can go and start writing your APIs and you can use out of the box uh, security features of APG uh, like OAuth or SAML or two way TLS and you can use encryption on your data so you don't have to uh, write anything um, like custom and it will come with all this uh, security uh, features which are uh, like O old OSAP uh, threads uh, kind of which are there so you can uh, secure your APIs you can use uh, APG platform to publish your APIs um, you can uh, so that you expose it to your external uh, people uh, external consumers or it can be your internal consumers also so you can secure it uh, with that along and we will see all of this in future tutorials uh, where we will uh, go step by step into each and every feature of APG uh, you can uh, use apg to analyze your apis like uh, you can drill down uh, in the api traffic data which is coming and uh, what time is uh, you are getting more spike in your api calls and you can trace live api calls in real time uh, you can get insights into it um, again uh, you can use it to monitor your apis and uh, reduce uh, uh, like uh, mean time to diagnosis basically if something is going wrong and you want to know why and what is going wrong and where so you can use uh, apg platform to uh, do your monitoring you can use apg also for doing monetization of apis uh, like you can bundle up your uh, same api into a bunch of uh, different products um, like um, you have a tier of a a api calling like basic uh, tier where people can call it maybe a uh, thousand times a day but if it's a premier tier you can give it for like they can call hundred thousand times so depending on what kind of api you are making uh, so you can do that also uh, using apg and we will see this how to make this products and bundles to use and the most important part which comes with apg is a developer portal which uh, any api is created and run and uh, used by basically developers so you can create a developer portal uh, where you can publish your apis along with the documentation which is created by the open api standard uh, so you can once you have designed it write a documentation it will seamlessly create your a uh, documentation for your api which can accelerate your api adoption with various offering and rate limits and pricing etc we will see this also 
and you can use ap apg platform to manage your microservices and there are a lot of things involved into this so everything we will cover but uh, let's first see how to get started uh, by creating that so basically what you do you go to the apg cloud.google.com uh, sites uh, and then from this site you just click on this try it for free uh, button it will open up a form where you can fill your information here and it will send you an email and then from that email you click on the activate button and uh, sorry activate link and then uh, it will take you uh, bring you to this uh, uh, portal or console so what this console is to uh, it is a comprehensive uh, set of tooling which you can use to develop publish or analyze or do admin work on your uh, apis and we will see all of this in uh, future tutorials so this is where you will come and uh, there is lot of information here and uh, it will take some time to cover everything so i will be making uh, uh, various tutorials uh, where we can we will go through everything so i hope this will help and uh, thank you for uh, listening and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial where we will create a simple uh, reverse proxy for your already existing api so see you in the next one have a nice day